Okay, here is the start to finish process of creating something in a resin printer. So first thing we're gonna do is search for the item that you want to print. You go to Thingiverse, they have thousands and thousands of items. So we're gonna do a test pattern for the uh, a, a Rook. So uh, I'm gonna type in Rook and find the one I want, which is this one right here. There we go. Download the files. And it will download the file. And then we go into our, uh, the software is called Cheetah Box. And we're going to go in and open. We're going to go to downloads and find that file. And it will put it on the platform. Now I want to make this a little bit bigger, so we're going to go up to the size here and make it 150%. And that's about that. And then from here, we check our settings, and I'm going to print this at 0 0.08 millimeters or 0 0.08 microns, or no, it's, it's 8 microns, um, or 80 microns, I'm sorry, 80 microns. So we close out of that, we hit slice, and what slicer does is it slices it down into uh, 80 micron layers, and you can actually go in and see those layers as it's printing. So got all that set, I'm gonna go to save, and I'm going to save it onto my SD card, or my thumb drive, save it and it's writing the files and it's done so now I go into finder and I was verified that the file is there and there it is up there that big long light name and we eject it and we take the thumb drive out and we head to the print room. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so I come in here, I put the thumb disk in the machine, turn it on. Um, I already have the resin uh, put in the machine that I'm going to use. This is a plant based resin. And I go down here to the screen. Hit print, there's the rook I'm going to print, hit that, and then hit play, and it has begun. And what it'll do is it'll lower the platform down into the resin and print uh, an item at uh, 80 micron layers. So, let's see, I'm going to let this run so that we can see the next step, which will tell us how long the print is going to take. Dust machine here. Once it hits the fluid, it'll tell us. Fifty-nine minutes. So we're back. Okay. So after it's done printing, I confirm that it's done printing, and I remove the finished print from the machine. And I actually remove the print. Plate, which can be a little tricky at times. There we go. And I take that and I put it in an ultrasonic cleaner. Turn it on for a few minutes and uh, let it clean. And then I have to 
clean off the uh, print platform and clean the vat and all that kind of stuff. I could leave the fluid in the vat if I wanted to do another print, but I'm fixing to do a clear print, so I'm going to change it all out. So, uh, let this clean. Saving the remaining resin is you run it through a filter back into the bottle. And that way, if there's any particles in there, it's not going to interfere with your printing. Yeah, a special vat holder that drains the filtered stuff back into the bottle and then when it's all drained I can clean it up and get ready for the next solution. That is still going. Printer's good and clean. Getting ready for the next print is to take the piece out of the ultrasonic bath and take it in and wash it with uh, cold water. So I go in here alcohol off. You want to do this, um, and what happens if you've got any alcohol in it, you go to the next step, it's going to leave white residue on it, and this just clears the print, cleans everything off of the print. Dry it all off, we'll dry it with some clean papers here. And then what they tell you to do is to take it outside. Um, it is cured, but it's not cured all the way. And they tell you to take it out and put it in the sun um, for the UV light to uh, do the final cure. So what I've done is I've built a cure bucket that has uh, UV lights in it. And I just stick the uh, stick the print inside the bucket and leave it set for a few minutes. So we'll be right back. Okay, so after about ten minutes in the uh, the curing bucket, we take it out and we have a finished product, all cured and ready to go. And that's it, that's the whole procedure of uh, creating a print in a resin or SLA printer. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.